you. Well, regular viewers to Eyewitness News First at Four know how much our entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon loves the new production of Death of a Salesman. For the first time since the play opened on Broadway back in 1949, the salesman, his wife, and sons are being played by black actors. Sandy talked with the two leads, and he's here now to tell us more. Sandy. Liz, Death of a Salesman is the best production I've seen on Broadway this year, or any other year for that matter. As I told you when I reviewed this play, the cost of a ticket seems to be a small price to pay for such a transformative experience. So, the chance to meet the stars in person, well, it was one of my best afternoons in this job. And making history, baby. Yeah. Making history. Yes, we are. Wendell Pierce and Sharon D. Clark are the first black performers to play Willie and Linda Lohman on Broadway. They found a way to give new meaning to the classic text and make it more accessible to a wider audience. Attention must be paid. What happens when you have African American Lohman family is the acute amplification of all of the themes of the play. You can't eat the orange and throw the peel away. A man is not a piece of fruit. When black audiences see it, they feel as though it was written uniquely for their experience. I think every kind of person can look at this in this light and see themselves. What began in London has flourished on Broadway. In New York, reactions are very vocal. You hear lots of mm-hmm or woo, large intakes of breath, and you know that people are with the story. They tell it by drawing on their own past and their own parents. I thought about the, the strong women that I was growing up with, the, those, those women who taught me how to be a strong black woman. I've always known the men in my family in the face of insurmountable odds to fight, yeah. to fight with fire. Pierce's own father came to the opening of this play at the age of 97, living long enough to see his son's triumph. I have had a wonderful 35 plus year career. I'm looking for my opportunity to leave legacy and leave a mark on this world. And I was given this precious gift to play this role. Wendell Pierce was approached after a recent performance by a member of the audience who was 100 years old. She had seen the original production of Death of a Salesman back in 1949 and had watched pretty much every version since then. The elderly woman waited at the stage door with a simple message for him. You moved me the most, she said. You were fantastic. I can only agree. Dave and Liz, and there are only about six weeks left to see this production, and I again urge you to do so.